Hey, welcome back to Lemon's Cocktails. Tonight's drink is sort of in the tiki realm, but not officially a tiki drink. We're making the Pegu Club. It was created in the 1920s in Burma at a place called the, the Pegu Club, and it was their house cocktail. It has gin, curacao, lime juice, bitters, no simple syrup, so it's kind of like a daisy style cocktail. Um, tonight, we're gonna use this Tangeray number 10 for our gin. We're gonna use Pierre Ferrand for our dry curacao, Angostura bitters, and fresh lime juice. I'm really excited because it's a great time of year to try this. It's getting warmer outside. It's not quite that tiki time, but this is not quite a tiki drink. Let's get to making it. For this drink, we'll start with our one ounce of fresh lime juice, one ounce of our curacao, two ounces of our gin, and I forgot, but two ounces of Angostura bitters. And drop in our ice. For this, we're just gonna shake for eight to 10 seconds, get it nice and cold. Okay, I went a little bit longer than eight to 10 seconds, but I really wanted to get it nice and frosty because it's gonna get served up. All right, then we'll just double strain that into our nice chilled coop. Traditionally served, no garnish. All right, this is my first time trying the Pegu Club, so let's give it a taste. Cheers. So it definitely has this big orange taste from that orange curacao that's balanced out by that nice, very, very tart one ounce of lime juice. I love tart cocktails personally, so the higher the citrus, that grapefruit, lime, lemon, whatever, I like it more and more. But this is really well balanced out with that curacao and then backed up by that stronger, very botanical, but also citrus forward gin. And then you also get some nice, nice spice notes from this Angostura bitters. I think if I were to do this again though, honestly, I would probably still keep that one ounce of lime juice, maybe lower that curacao down to three quarters of an ounce and still stick with that two ounces of gin because I want a little bit more tartness, but that's just me. And I, like I said, I really love that tart, tart cocktail taste for a sour. So, um, but I think this is really good and you probably enjoy it. Um, there's a lot of different recipes out there. Some just calling for as little as a teaspoon of lime juice. There's a lot of variations of this cocktail out there and a lot of different recipes with some calling for as little as one teaspoon of lime juice. I personally think that'd be awful, but again, I like the tart cocktails. As I said earlier, this is one of those pre-tiki cocktails that exists in the realm but isn't in the canon of tiki. And I thought it was a good idea because it's not quite summer and I love tiki in the summer. So if you've got some other good pre-tiki, tiki realm-ish cocktails, please let me know, leave a message in the comments. I'd love to try them out, maybe make a video or just you know drink them at home. So. Uh, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe and cheers and see you next time.